We talk football preseason rankings and the award winners of the 2018-2019 Legacy Awards. That is what is on tap for you on the GAC Weekly today. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. The GAC Weekly is brought to you by the Great American Conference. Let's get right on into the football rankings. And the preseason poll looks like this. Washita and Harding at the top, and it's tight voting right there. Washita received 118 total points, eight of the first place votes in this poll. Harding received 113 total points, three of the first place votes in this poll. And Washita coming off to, of back-to-back -back GAC championships in 2017 and 2018. Well, they bring back the 2018 freshman of the year in Braden Brazil, the quarterback who had 16 touchdowns through just two interceptions. Uh, they also bring back Brockton Brown, Shauncey Thomas, and Allie Freeman to that offense. Washita looking to pick up a third consecutive GAC title. Well, Harding may have something to say about that. Speaking of three consecutive seasons, Harding went to the playoffs in three straight years, 2016, 17, and 18. Harding picked second in the polls and featuring four of the top rushing leaders for 2019, bringing them back. Cole Chauncey, 961 yards, and that led the way for the GAC in rushing yards in 2018. Southern Arkansas received the final first place vote, 93 total points for the Mule Riders. Henderson State picked fourth, and Arkansas Monticello just ahead of Southeastern in that fifth spot with 66 total points. Southeastern had 65 total points according to this preseason poll. The bottom half of the poll looks like this. Northwestern had 58 points. Tech 56 and Oklahoma Baptist 52. Southwestern, East Central and Southern Nazarene round out the remaining three spots in the 2019 preseason coaches football poll. Let's look now at the Legacy Award winners for 2018-2019. Take a look at that now. And this is how the voting went, as this was an online opportunity for fans to get to vote for those players, coaches, teams uh, that the fans really thought uh, deserved the honor over the course of 2018-2019. So let's look at some of those right now. The team of the year getting nearly 50% of the vote Southwestern's women's basketball team, and why not? And we've talked about the Southwestern women's basketball team over and over again. 35-2 and two on the year, a trip to the national championship, a 35-game winning streak as well, two All-Americans, Southwestern's women's basketball team running away with the fan vote there. The award for the game of the year, well, that came in the Women's Soccer Championship. Southwestern, a part of that one, no surprise. Oklahoma Baptist coming away with the win as Lady Bison rallied and won in overtime 3-2. Hannah White had the game winner two minutes into overtime. The Lady Bison finished the year 15-4-1 and, and received 35% of the total vote uh, there from the fans. This was a vote online on Twitter as we see the results now for play of the year. And I don't think it's any surprise here either. Tabor Beer with a game-winning three-pointer in the Central Region semifinal game. Tabor Beer had the three-pointer to win over the defending national champion Central Missouri Jennies in that Central Regional semifinal in Hayes, Kansas. It pushed the Lady Bulldogs on into the Central Region championship game, taking on Fort Hayes State on their home court and winning and moving on into the Elite Eight. And, of course, we've talked about it before. Southwestern's women going on to play for a national championship. Moving on, the award for the Coach of the Year. Well, let's stick with Southwestern. Why not? Southwestern's been a part of the first four categories here. And the Coach of the Year, again, nearly 50% of the vote for Kelsey Music. Her team 35-2 and two last season. In 10 years at Southwestern, Kelsey Music has amassed a 191-108 and 108 record and she has really made her mark in Weatherford with that up-tempo offense and added some defense this year, and it really made a difference. Moving on along now, the Legacy Award for the Upset of the Year. Well, this is actually a bit of a feel-good story here. The Washita Tigers defeating Southern Arkansas, the number eight seed, taking on the top seed in the GAC softball postseason tournament. And the tournament went from double elimination to single elimination due to weather. And, of course, it's actually going to be a single elimination tournament 
for the foreseeable future from here on out. Washita with 40% of the vote there as Leslie Dean, who was the interim head coach, taking over for Coach Mike McGee, who had passed away a little earlier in the year from cancer, took over the program, get Washita into the postseason, and the number eight seed, it was a game against the top seed that went into extra innings. The Tigers got a home run from Leighton Withers, Leighton Withers, and they held on for a 5-4 win in the eighth inning, lost in the semifinal game. But that upset of the year, number eight over number one. And by the way, in the offseason, Washita has taken away the interim tag. Leslie Dean now the head coach of the softball program there in Arkadelphia. The Legacy Award for Record-Breaking Moment of the Year. We go back to Southwestern once again. Haley Tucker, who is now the all-time leading scorer in GAC basketball history, second in Swasu history following just Kelly Litch there. 2,360 points to finish her career at Southwestern. She scored 25 points in a win over Lubbock Christian. Lubbock Christian, ironically, the team that beat them in the national championship game. Haley Tucker, the all-time leading scorer, and had 41% of the fan vote there. The award for top performance in an NCAA championship, and with more than 50% of the vote here, 57%, we're going to stick with Southwestern once again. Now, the Southwestern fans definitely came out to vote in these, but the women's basketball team with the fantastic year. The Southwestern women, the first league team, this is the first appearance for the GAC in a national championship game, and it went to double overtime before Southwestern fell by 10 points to Lubbock Christian. Lubbock Christian having won then its second national championship in four years. Uh, definitely a worthy opponent there. But Southwestern's women's basketball team, top performance at an NCAA championship. The award for top performance at a GAC women's championship goes to Allie Weiner from Arkansas Tech. She rallied from six strokes down entering the final round of the GAC golf tournament to shoot a 219 for the event. She won the individual crown by two strokes over Chloe Thackeray. Weiner's performance also helped her team rally for the title, the team's fifth straight GAC tournament championship. The award for top performance at a GAC men's championship goes to Micah Spate, Southern Nazarene, as the Crimson Storm was led by Spate, who is the tournament MVP, got 41% of the vote there. The tournament MVP in the GAC championship tournament in Bartlesville, which, by the way, it's going back to Bartlesville one more year, and we've talked about that on a previous GAC weekly. Spate scored 26 points in the championship game, an 80-77 overtime win over Southeastern. He averaged 22 points, 7.7 rebounds, 5.7 assists, 2.3 steals, and shot 50% from the floor for the tournament. Definitely a great performance in a GAC men's championship. We move on along now. The single game performance of the year. How about the season opener for Southern Arkansas's softball team? Victoria Taylor, the junior, opened the season with a perfect game in the circle. Southern Arkansas defeated Southwest Baptist 7-0. Taylor gave up no hits, no walks, no runs in that perfect game. Of course, the epitome of perfection there. Striking out 12 and throwing only 97 pitches in the effort. By the way, Taylor finished the year 11-5, and five, a perfect game to open the season. And with 34% of the vote total, uh, that is the winner of single-game performance of the year. The award for Breakthrough Athlete of the Year, Bethany Franks. She gets that with 33% of the vote. Another Southwestern women's basketball player. The sophomore played huge on the inside and was an integral part of this team uh, with Tucker and Pretty playing on the outside, Tucker plays some inside, some outside. A couple of guards, they got big post play from Franks, who averaged 9.9 .9 points per game, 8.7 rebounds per game, and had 104 steals on the year, the Breakthrough Athlete of the Year. And finally, the award for Impact Rookie of the Year, that goes to Ryder Yakel from Harding. Get this, he came in from Garden City Community College, had a 7-2 record on the mound, six saves, a 1.48 ERA and helped Harding to a GAC tournament championship game appearance. He was a first team all GAC player, GAC newcomer of the year, and a D2 CCA second team all central region player. How about that for an impact player? Had 58 strikeouts in 54 and two thirds innings and did not allow an earned run at home all season long. That is Ryder Yakel from Harding Baseball. And that is a look 
at the preseason football poll, the 2019 preseason football poll, Washita at the top of that, Harding just behind the Tigers there. We'll be back a little bit later on this week with the GAC preseason volleyball poll. In the meantime, thanks for watching. The GAC Weekly is presented by the Great American Conference. To see and hear this and more about the GAC and other college and high school sports, please visit oklomasports.net and arkansasports.net, and please do subscribe to this channel, the Midwest Sports Net channel on YouTube. Thank you very much. God bless you, and have a great day.